Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and today is Thursday, November 29th, 2012, and this is the daily scan. Let's take a look at our portfolio. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right now, Apple is, everything's pretty much doing good. Um, and we got into Google yesterday. I had an alert go off. The alert also went off on Baidu. And I'll show you why I didn't do Baidu um, early in the morning. But the uh, alert went off on Google later on in the afternoon. We'll cover that one in a second, too. So um, we're doing pretty good. Our insurance policy on the queues. And this is, I believe, this is December calendar. Um, not doing too good because the market's in a little bit of a bull move right now. And you can see that we should gap, op gap up at the open today pretty considerably. I mean, 73 on the uh, futures for the Dow and 8.5 on the uh, E-minis is pretty hefty move for uh, first thing in the morning. All right, so um, Baidu Alert went off, and I didn't do anything about it. Um, let's look here. And the reason why is I just didn't feel it was kind of a strong enough uh, move. I didn't feel real confident about it. We were going to do a bear call. And it looks like it's a good thing we didn't because it gapped down at the open and alert went off. And then it climbed for the rest of the day. So uh, we would have been burnt right off uh, right off the bat on that one. Um, good reason for not getting into the market for these types of plays until you see what develops a little bit later on in the day. And if, it, if you miss it, you miss it. So sometimes that happens. And Google, I had a little bit of a story on that one. Here's um, here's the actual play that I did. We're up $16. I did two at uh, bull puts at 655 and 660. The reason why I picked that was uh, yesterday the delta on that in the afternoon on that particular um, 655 strike was around uh, 27 or 28 and it's already down to 19 that uh, kind of amazing to me a, a little bit unusual but I, I picked kind of a hefty delta something above 20 because I was pretty confident in this as a uh, quote unquote long term trade meaning um, next month expiration so I felt pretty confident about that. Let's go back and take a quick peek at this chart. So this is, I had the alert set at 680, and it went off here in the afternoon, uh, late afternoon. And I got in actually at 679.92, when the price was uh, just a little bit below the, the AR. 679, just a little bit below the 680. And that's the reason why I picked that particular strike at that particular time as a uh, higher probability trade. And everything else is doing pretty good. Um, I mentioned that I was talking about doing something on the VIX, and I was talking to a friend of mine up in Canada yesterday, and he alerted me uh, that these are European-style options, I believe. I haven't checked into it to verify that, but they act just a little bit differently as far as their reaction to volatility is concerned because uh, you can't really, once you're into them, you can't really exercise them until expiration. So um, they act uh, just a little bit differently. Be that as it may, I went ahead and did a couple of simulated trades. This first one is a complete calendar. It's just showing you 
uh, what it would have cost to get in on one of them, so that would have been 70 cents. And then I wanted to look to monitor the individual uh, strikes, and you can see the volatility is pretty high here. Well, if the if the math isn't working out here, it's because this price here for the um, purchase of the calendar is at a midpoint. And these are bid ask prices here, so that's why um, the math doesn't work out. I mean, theoretically, you should be able to take the dollar fifteen and subtract the thirty from it, and you'll come up with uh, eighty-five cents versus seventy cents. But again, this is based on the midpoint, and whether you could really buy it for seventy cents or not, I don't know. Usually, you have to uh, just go with uh, the actual price itself, which would have been the eighty-five cents. Sometimes you can get price improvement on that, though. So we're going to, uh, <clears throat> we're just in a watch and see mode right now. You can see that the risk is up to $8,000 with that Google trade. It was $500 per lot. So we added another $1,000. Um, Amazon might look at uh, maybe getting out of that today. Uh, this is an expiration for this week. Let's see what we look like on our risk profile. Oops. I'm going to say, oh, yeah, um, we're probably ready to get out of that today. So then uh, we might be able to go shopping, but I think we're like almost fully invested in practically everything that's on my A-plus list. Practically, except for the P's. And let's go take a look at that. Stick the monitor up here. And when I say the P's, that's Priceline. Let's look at that chart. Wow, big day yesterday. What were we thinking about here? Well, a while back here we were thinking of doing some sort of bullish play, which would have been right back around here, which actually is when it popped up now. There wasn't really an entry in there. This could be an entry. I don't know. Um, I don't know exactly. I think there's some stuff. Looks like there's some stuff down here in the news. Um, online sales are up, way up. You know, you might want to check with that. There might be some news here uh, that caused this huge move, which from 636 to 657 that's a $20 move that's a nice one um, it's pretty interesting I don't want to chase this though so I'm not going to do anything on that one and Panera I don't think we had uh, anything lined up there either we have a little what could be here let's zoom in just a little bit what could be here a secondary entry on this uh, uptrend, but recently the trend is kind of down on it, and, and the MACD is uh, below the zero line pretty, pretty solidly, but we have a couple of bars here that are moving up. And um, Panera had a very good day yesterday, so we're synced up between these two time frames here with the midterm and the long term. So let's see if we can move above this. And we're, this uh, high here was 158.16, so let's go 158.50 with an alert here and see what we do, well, how it works out. 158.50 at or above. Oops. 160. No, that was the low. The high was 163.31, so let's change that to 163.40. That's good. All right. That's good. So that'll be on tap for today. If it looks good, it's easier to move it on this count, on this uh, chart. 160. Somebody 50. There we go. Exactly. 
so we'll be watching for that one. It's got to be it's got to be pretty convincing for um, me to jump in. And what are our possibilities here? Would this be a long term or a short term? I would say that it would probably be. I'd be looking for a longer term one here. So it would be uh, definitely a December expiration. Now let's take a look at our deltas on the put side. Uh, we could go 155 at this moment right now is where I would start out. I wouldn't go below a 20 delta. And uh, if I would go a little bit closer if I was really convinced. And that way I don't risk so much. So we'll see how the day develops and I'll let you know tomorrow uh, if I did anything. on this particular trade for Panera. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.